In this next clip, I got to show you because this is Morning Joe and uh, the wife of Joe, Mika Brzezinski, is on there just, just, I don't get it. She said, I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, how could this possibly be that people would ever vote for Trump? I guess they're not watching your program, Mika. Um, and they, they apparently are not drinking the, the, the nonsense that you're constantly spewing. Perhaps they actually buy their groceries themselves and fill up their gas tanks and are noticing they have less to work with under the current administration. Anyway, I want to play this for you. Voters said they were glad she has a tax and economic plan, but they want to know how it will become law when Washington is so polarized. They know she wants to give assistance to first-time home buyers, but doubted that it was realistic. And Jeremy, I ask you, is their answer Donald Trump? Because <laughs> I guess, I guess I, I, I see the questions. I think there was only so much that she could do in that debate in order to be as effective as she was, and, and I agree. There are a lot more questions. Of course, I would love to ask Kamala Harris about her leadership style and her plans and how she plans to execute. But are those undecided voters saying, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to kind of lean Trump here because I want change? I don't get it. Yeah, well, she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it because People are saying, sure, I want change, but I want to go back. I want to go back to way, the way things were because things were better back then. And Kamala Harris doesn't represent change, even though she's telling you and she wants the media to spoon feed everybody that narrative that this is a new page and this is change. No one actually believes that because she's been in the seat for three and a half years. And by the way, who's running the country for goodness sakes right now? I mean, if Joe's on the beach the whole time or incapacitated otherwise or out there, you know, wearing MAGA hats in Pennsylvania, as we saw, then who's running the country while she's campaigning? It's, it's anyone's guess. But the media just, they can't get it. They can't get it, whether it's Mika on Morning Joe or whether it's Philip Rines, who's, you know, from Hillary's camp, and then he got to play Donald Trump in the debate as he prepped Kamala Harris. He also just can't understand why people wouldn't vote for Joe Biden. And then he can't understand why they wouldn't vote for Kamala Harris. It's almost comical to listen to these people because they're so in their own world. They don't get where everybody else is. Watch. On TV. I mean, they're not sitting there making funny faces. <laughs> I mean, it's a big part of it. You're in a debate and, you know, in rough terms for 45 minutes, you are being watched it's a split screen the entire time. And people, you know, she has a disadvantage that people need to get to know her and people want to get to know her. And Tuesday was a step in that. And hopefully, you know, the people who, the three people that we saw with their comments are three million people. There's this slight, you know, short, narrow sliver of people that for whatever reason couldn't decide between Donald Trump and Joe Biden for reasons I can't understand. For and reasons he can't understand, for whatever reason, for reasons I can't understand. Again, Philippe, it's not that hard. Philippe. Look at the economy. Now it's Joe Biden. It's now it's Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And everything you do, like, I don't know who any of those, those folks after watching the debate was like, I'm more inclined to vote for Donald Trump as opposed to what is wrong with that guy? <laughs> well, Sarah has talked. I don't know how we lived people. through the first four years watching that. I'll tell you. <laughs> right. I mean, you want to talk out of touch. Right? That, that is out of touch. They cannot, for the life of them, figure out why anybody would ever vote for Donald Trump, except that, it's, to me anyway, and, and, and maybe, I'm, maybe I, I, I'm, I'm missing something, but to me it's very, very obvious. It's very obvious because people have basic needs and they have the need for prosperity. They have the need for safety and those basic needs are not being met. So when your government is allowing people to pour in across the border completely unchecked and your community is struggling to deal with the, the impacts on crime, impacts on schools, impacts on health care, you know what, you're going to get kind of annoyed. And so that's one component of it. The other component is the obvious inflation issue, which, you know, when you print out that much money like they did through their Inflation Reduction Act, I mean, that one just kills me, then you're going to have inflation. And they should have maybe thought about these things, but they don't. What's so scary is they're actually looking at 
putting more inflation into the economy. Kamala Harris said with a straight face that she was going to do $25,000, $25,000 in giveaways to anybody who had never owned a home before. She's going to write you a blank check for $25,000 so you can go buy a house. Well, what does that do? When you keep saturating the market with all these dollars that people haven't really earned, what does it do? It causes more inflation. More inflation, guys, which I guess is an opportune time to mention our great sponsor, the American Heart for Gold. I'll just give them another shout out right now because you can get up to $15,000 special offer if uh, your purchase is, is qualifying in free silver when you buy gold with American Heart for Gold. I mean, it's one of the best ways really to iron out for these inflation concerns. one 495 is their number. You can text my name, Trish, to 65532. Text Trish to 65532. Our great friends over at American Heart for Gold. All you can do is also go to the, uh, or what you can do is go to trishlovesgold.com. Trishlovesgold.com. You can't forget that URL, right? So go check it out again for your chance. Fans of this program to get up to $15,000 in free silver on qualifying orders.